Okay, that is just too mellow. I need to put something on really crazy to get me in the mood. Ready? I remember syrup sandwiches and crumb allowances. What do I know? Bitch, be on. Okay, that's heavy. Wow. All right, let's do this. Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome to day two of A Week with Shani. I'm uploading every day on my channel for five days, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be playing around with makeup that I never usually lean towards. So it's pretty much just everything that I've just thrown in the back of my cupboard and I never use because I'm a habit of creature. Wow, did, did I really? I'm a creature of habit. I'm such a dumb bitch sometimes, I swear to God. We're gonna put everything to the test and see if I still want it in my makeup collection and we can see, we can rediscover something that's amazing once again. There's a few things in here that I haven't used before that I've just had for so long and I just need to use them, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. By the way, I did get a new lens right there so you guys can see what's going on on the eyes and the lips later. Let's go ahead and start with the eyebrows. So I'm taking the Essence Eyebrow Stylus Set. I haven't used this in so long, and I remember this being one of my all-time favorites. So this comes with a light brown and a dark brown. I totally remember this being my favorite eyebrow product of all times. And then I found like the Eyebrow Benefit Brow Powder, and I was like, bye. This stuff is incredible. I just thought, let's just give it another chance, hon. So I'm starting by um, drawing a line above my brow, making the arch nice and high. And then I like to make my tail a bit longer. You guys know the drill. And then I define underneath the brow as well. And let me know what you think of the new lens. Is it helpful? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it annoying? This product is still just as good as I used to think. It's amazing and so affordable. I'm really happy with that. Brows are on. Now let's go ahead and clean them up. So I'm taking the Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. This one's in the shade number one. So I've used this one once and I liked it, but I kind of forget how it goes. I'm pretty sure I never really picked it up again because it's so thick, but it does have an amazing coverage. So what I'm going to do is just take a little flat brush and clean up my eyebrows. Oh my god, it's so thick. Girl. It's definitely not my favorite concealer to carve out the brows with, that's for sure, just because it's so thick and it's like, it's hard to drag the product across the skin, but it did a good job. Now taking that concealer all over my lid. Just to prime the eyes. My eyes are so sensitive today, so I'm really scared. They're just going to start watering. Let's move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this one from Sephora. It is the Eye Contouring Eyeshadow Palette in the shade... I mean, I think it's in the shade Colorful 5, but there's a sticker over it. So there you go. But this one has a bunch of really nice brown shades in here, and I never use this. So I thought, let's do it. Today's the day. So I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm going to take the middle shade right here. It's like a cool toned brown and I'm putting this in the crease. It's super little so I thought it would be amazing for like traveling. Oh, that's really piggy mentent. I mean, so far I'm impressed. Once I've put on most of the color, I'm just going to blend the edges out a little bit. So it's nice and soft. The next color I'm taking is this one right here. And this one's going to go closer to the crease. I really just want to warm it up a little bit, but it looks like there's tiny shimmers in it. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I don't really like cool tone shades on me. This is going to deepen it up as well. So hopefully it looks amazing. Then going in with that same color, I'm just going to pack that on the inner corner and the outer corner. And hopefully we can do a really nice halo cut crease look. So you pretty much just want to leave the middle free. Then going back in with that um, Benefit Concealer, I'm just going to do a cut crease 
in the middle of my eyelid. I have no idea how this is going to go. Honestly, I'm scared, but that's okay. The next product that I'm taking is the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Eyeshadow Palette. I don't even think I've used this once. Maybe once? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to take this nice green color down here and we're going to pop that right where I put that concealer. I'm hoping it's going to look stunning. Um, oh my god, I have hiccups. Hopefully I don't need any Fix Plus because, oh wow, no I don't. Wow. That's nice. I'm just going to go as close as I can to that line up here. And then I'll go back in with that dark brown so I can blend over the edges again. All right, this clearly is not working because that brown kind of fades into nothing. And then when you blend the glitter of like the Rihanna palette, it goes like really dark and patchy. I don't know. So what I'm going to do to fix that up is take that green all the way to the inner corner and then we're gonna put a black on the outer corner. The next thing I'm taking is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt and let's be real, I never ever go anywhere near black so this fits into the video perfectly. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the best black eyeshadows. I just personally don't think I suit black. Then, of course, going in with that warm brown, I'm going to blend the edges of that black. Let's go in with the mascara. So this one is the Rimmel Volume Shake Mascara. Um, we're just going to have to go in and fix the eyes later. But it wasn't the easiest thing to make work because I kind of effed up the technique of it because I put the concealer down. Oh, oh well, we'll figure it out. Well, that mascara is not bad. I don't think I've used it before actually. It's just been sitting in my cupboard. Let's go in with the lashes. So this brand is Lash Doll Boutique. I've had these for so long and they've just been chilling, but they look really beautiful. So we're just gonna see how these ones go today. I'm gonna start by cutting this into the shape of my eye because they're super long. I always like to make sure the lash glue gets tacky on the fake lash before I put it on. It makes it so much easier to apply. Right, then we're gonna look down. Oh my God, my eyes stinging. I'm gonna pop the lash on. I'm personally not obsessed with the way the eyelashes look just because they're not the right shape for my eye for like my eye shape. I just put my mascara on there so they look a bit more like big and fluffy, but I don't know. I'm not like obsessed with the eyeshadow look either because I hate black on my eyes because you have to have that sharp line. Well, I mean, I do. This is the Bye Bye Pores Primer by It Cosmetics. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna start blending it into the middle of my face and oh my God, it honestly, Oh my god, it feels so soft when it goes on. My lord. I love the feel of that. My eyes are going to start watering soon. I'm not ready for this. The next thing I'm taking is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. So you can put this underneath foundation or mix it in with foundation for a glow. So I really want to see how this looks on my face. I've literally, like, I think the last time I used this was like two years ago. So pretty sure that means it's off, right? If I've had it for that long. I mean, it smells fine. <laughs> oh my God, yuck. Nothing dramatic at all. It just adds a little bit, tiny bit of a glow. I mean, you can hardly see it. So now it's time for the foundation. So I'm taking this one from La Prairie. It is the Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation. And I have the shade... How did that even happen? Yeah, this one's in the shade Amber Beige. So I'm just gonna shake it up because I actually have used it once in my life and it was like the most expensive foundation in the world. I'm pretty sure this was like $500. So I'm just taking this spatula I'm popping this all over my face. I'm pretty sure the last time I used this, I really liked it, but like that was a long time ago. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. I put lots on because the sponge literally sucks up everything anyway. Ooh, that looks good. 
Definitely not worth however much it is though, not gonna lie. Ooh, dead skin. Looks like a boog. For the translucent powder under my eyes, I'm taking the Kat Von D Look at Setting Powder. Now, I really want to use this because I'm thinking that I hate it. And I'm pretty sure I've hated it for the longest time because every time I use it, the concealer like comes off when I brush it away. So I'm just going to give it one more chance because I just need to know because it literally has happened every time. And I've had just about enough. The other thing that I never use is the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. This one's in the shade Medium Tan. And I just put it in my, my junk box because um, it wouldn't fit in my cupboard. So I kind of forget how this works. I'm pretty sure it wasn't bad actually. Which is amazing because obviously Wet n Wild is so affordable. I mean, it's not the worst powder in the world. It definitely set my face, so I'm not mad. Next, we're going in with that same black eyeshadow that we put on the outer corner. And I'm going to take that from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm really going to smoke it out. I'm just taking that on a pencil brush. Oh my god, I look so weird with black. <gasps> I look like a raccoon. I look like a raccoon. <laughs> Next step is to blend that out. So I'm going to go in with that transition shade. Oh, that warm color right here. And I'm going to smoke that out underneath that black. It's looking a bit crazy if I don't say so myself. The next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Benefit Bad Gal Liner. This is the waterproof one. And again, I don't like using black because I don't think it suits me because my eyes are so dark and everything's so dark. So I never use it. But I do really like it. I'm definitely going to put some eye contacts in soon so it kind of breaks up all the blackness here. But now for the brows, I'm going to go in with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I have a few that I always stick to, like the Benefit one and the Ardell one. So let's give this one a whirl. I used to love it. Yeah, see, that's so good. I need to start using it more. I just like the way brow gels like push all of the hairs up. It looks so good. Let's move on to the bronzer. So this is the Designer Brands Almost famous contour and highlighting palette and I'm gonna take the shade hmm I'm gonna take this color right here we're just gonna bronze up the face a little bit I've never used this one I just am in my cupboard oh I like it I'm also gonna take that around my hairline as well to even it all out Next, I'm going to take this NARS blush in the shade Impassioned. And I usually don't go for like really light, dusty colors like this, but we're going to give it a go and see how it looks on my cheeks. Usually I go for like rosy shades. Oh wow, it's very pigmented. I'm really not a fan of that foundation, hey? It's not looking too good. The next thing that I never ever grab is the Kylie Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Salted Caramel. Actually, I don't use any of them. I have all of the shades, but I don't know. I just, I was never really obsessed with them. Like, they work well, but I don't know. Actually, do they even work well? I don't know. I just don't really like it. I used to think it was all right. Like, I don't even want to keep it anymore. Next thing I'm taking is the Huda Beauty Lip Liner. This one's in the shade uh, Flirt. So I'm going to line my lips with this. Never use this, so I'm really excited. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And then for the lipstick, I'm taking the Estee Lauder Lipstick in the shade 140 Naked City. I've used this once before, and I don't even remember what I thought of it. Yeah, it's a really like shiny, but this one's like almost like a gloss. Wow, it's very, very warm tone. I love this color. I really don't like how that highlight is looking on my face. It's not like amazing. So I'm going in with this Stila highlight in the shade Kitten. I used this once before and I didn't really like how it looked either. But I feel like it's going to look better than... The Kylie one. I don't know. I feel like this one's really like wet so it doesn't blend in properly. Like it leaves like a line. It's probably going to do it again. Damn it. 
I don't like that. The last step is to set my face. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing and Setting Spray. So I think the last time I used this, it like left dots on my face, but I'm not sure. I'm scared. Oh my God, so much comes out. It's literally like I'm putting deodorant on. All right, I'm gonna go put some eye contacts in and fix my hair and I'll be right back. So here is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. I put the green contacts in and I feel like it looks so much better because it breaks that darkness up around my eyes. So I think it turned out pretty well. My eyes are going really bloodshot right now. They're so irritated. Oh my God. If you guys didn't notice, I cut myself some bangs. I mean, I didn't cut them, that's for sure, but my hairdresser did. Oh, my hair's so flat. Ah. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already, and let me know what you think of this makeup look down below, and we can have a little chat. So I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Bye.